What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. We're in Kwajalein Atoll and we got an exciting day ahead of us. My buddy just got a new Divex scooter, Black Tip. First one on the island. It came out in January. So I'm heading over to his place right now. We're gonna unbox it and uh, get it in the water tomorrow. Test it out, compare it to my Piranha P1 and uh, see how it goes. So we're here, tag along. We're gonna compare it tomorrow, go for a scooter dive. Jamie! <laughs> Is that it? So, bring some batteries for them. So these are the same. What I like about it too, it's got the battery gauge right there, as opposed to the P1, you have to add, add an extra addition to it. But uh, this one comes right out of the box. That's how quiet that is. Jeez, that's so quiet. Mine, uh, if you hear mine, actually it's not plugged in. Uh, my P1 from 2015 model is so much louder than that. So that's gonna be amazing diving with that. I've gotten complaints from diving around and people are like, oh, the scooters make so much noise. So this, that's gonna be a game changer. This is really cool too, because it's got the you know, batter, batteries, the DeWalt batteries that you can carry on on the plane. Same thing with this guy. This guy just carries two DeWalts and uh, it's smaller, so how fast is the battery consumption on this thing? Uh, two five amp hours will get you 53 minutes. 53 minutes, which a lot of times you're just going to a destination, parked in it, and you're not using it for the full time for your dive. But uh, yeah, so if you're like doing doubles and stuff, obviously you want the P1 to go heavier and like you can add more modules so you have stacks of batteries on top of it. Here, that's that one. Again, my model is 2015, so the models after this one, I know that the 2018 is a lot quieter, so it's not really a real comparison to that one. Impressive. Impressively quiet. I'm looking forward to hearing it underwater and seeing like <laughs> how much it just obstructs the dive, because some people cannot stand scooters because of the noise. And this is just a game changer for that. And this guy, how much cheaper is this guy comparatively? About $3,000 cheaper. So this is what, five? Five. And then this guy is? About 15. 15. Yep, comes right out of the box, just like this. So this is exactly what comes out of the box. You get your strap two to connect to your uh, harness or your crotch strap. And you're ready to go for a dive. Just grab the batteries and get going. Another advantage of these guys with the travel batteries or the DeWalt batteries that just click in here. Super amazing design. Like by far the coolest design for a scooter. You can see the old scooters that we have, the Sea Dews, we can't take these off island because they won't allow these ones to go on a plane. So you can see that uh, you're carrying two guys and your scooter versus getting this guy around is gonna be a lot easier. We're gonna jump in the water tomorrow and see what happens and compare the speeds, race each other, maybe get a uh, sea dew out there as well and uh, see how that goes. Shiny quads right now. About to get our dives in. We're gonna go to the N East wreck here. We got Jamie with all his gear and scooters. We got Will Smith, not the Fresh Prince, but the other one. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get this dive in. Let's go. Until you make it, you know.
a quick uh, tryout review of this thing super liked it this I went to seventh gear and I was flying there's still one more gear after that so man that thing is just insanely fast the sound it's not <laughs> eruptive I mean you can still hear it when you're diving so some people would hate it but uh, I mean that's a scooter for you I would say this is the best consumer scooter on the market right now yeah. and uh, highly recommend it super fun super cool super easy to learn or enjoy and hook up uh, Comfortable, quiet, maneuverable. I guess it's floaty. That'd be a yeah. That's where the the tip was floaty. Yeah, yeah. So I wonder if you can put a weight up there to. I think make they it more said even. they did that to compensate for larger batteries, but mm -hmm. they talked about uh, having a weighted tip for it. Okay. But they haven't made it yet. Gotcha. That's what it said in an article. I don't know. Yeah, because that tip definitely floated up, which is kind of weird. It said that. It said experienced scooters are going to find it. People who are experienced on scooters will find this one weird because the tip is floaty. That's what it said right on their website. Interesting. Yeah. But overall, you liked it, huh? Oh, yeah. Super. That's super fast. Tell me about it. <laughs> well, eighth gear, I think it's cooking. That thing it's was quiet. flying. Yeah, the turtles didn't mind it. That was cool. It's something that usually they, you know, scream and run away from. This one, they didn't seem to mind it at all, and it was pretty nimble. So the screen is easy to read underwater, it tells you uh, how much battery life you have left, what gear you're in, it's pretty intuitive as far as how to turn it on with two clicks, two clicks up, one click down for changing your gear, and uh, smooth, smooth operation. Great dive, awesome scooters, can't wait to dive with it more, that, it's amazing, the, the speed on that thing, I mean, you're, you're just flying on that, you're going to chase anything down, it, it's, I mean, way quieter than any other scooter I've ever dove with before. So definitely recommended. Love the scooter. Fun times. More to come. Mm -hmm.